the continent of Europe. In area, the continent of Europe ranks sixth in the world. It is situated in the Northern Hemisphere. It was from here that the Industrial Revolution started off in the 18th century. Since then, the countries in Europe had set up colonies in almost every continent in the world. Europe has been a great influence on the history of the world in the development of politics, culture, geographic discoveries, and scientific research. We will learn about the physical features, climate, and natural resources of this continent in greater detail. Europe lies between 35 degrees north and 72 degrees north latitude, and between 25 degrees west and 65 degrees east longitude. It lies completely in the temperate zone. The continent is surrounded by the Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean in the west, and the Mediterranean Sea in the south. The continent of Africa lies to the south of Europe, while Asia lies to the east of Europe. The Caucasus Mountains the Ural Mountains, the Black Sea, and the Caspian Sea separate Asia from Europe. The Strait of Gibraltar and the Mediterranean Sea separate Africa from Europe. Europe has a number of landlocked or inland deep bays and gulfs. The inland seas in southeastern Europe are the Caspian Sea, the Black Sea, the Baltic Sea, the Sea of Azov, and the Sea of Marmara. The Adriatic Sea in the south and the White Sea in the north are also inland seas. Europe has one of the longest coastlines in the world. The indented and rugged nature of the coastlines has given rise to natural harbours. The continent of Europe is broadly divided into four major physical divisions. The Northwestern Highlands, the Central Plains, the Central Highlands, the Southern Mountains or the Alpine Mountain System. The Northwestern Highlands comprise the oldest mountains in Europe. It includes the mountains in Scandinavia, Iceland, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and the Urals. The mountains are old fold and made up of ancient rocks. During the Ice Age, these highlands were overrun by glaciers. Through a long period of time, these highlands have been eroded and weathered due to the action of ice and running water to form low, rounded mountains and U-shaped valleys. In some places along the coast, especially in Norway, the weathering has caused the formation of deep and narrow valleys filled with sea water. These narrow and deep inlets of the sea, having steep rocks on both sides, are called fjords. These fjords have made the coastline highly indented. The fjords are also bordered by steep mountains. The Central European Plains lies to the south of the Northwestern Highlands. The plain extends right across Europe from the Ural Mountains in the east to the Atlantic coast in the west, covering an area of about 2,400 kilometers. The large lowland 
forms a triangular funnel shape, the broadest section towards the east and the apex towards the west. The plain has been drained by glaciers and large rivers such as Rhine, Seine, Danube, Volga, Dnieper, Ural and Don. The silt has made this region very fertile and suitable for agriculture. The Central European Plain also consists of small plains such as London Basin, Paris Basin, Plains of Lombardy in Italy, Lowland of Andalusia in Spain, Hungarian Plain, the Wallachian Plain in Romania. The Central European Plain is not completely flat. It has gently rolling surfaces broken by mountain chains and hills. Certain parts of this plain are also below sea level and have dikes or embankments. The shallow North Sea, White Sea and Baltic Sea comprise the submerged sections of the plains. The central highlands lie south of the central plains. It consists of a range of plateaus, hills and mountains such as the Meseta in Spain the Central Massif and Vos in France, the Black Forest and Hartz Mountains in Germany, the Ardennes in Belgium, and the Bohemian Plateau in the Czech Republic. The highlands are heavily wooded and have old, coal-bearing rocks. The rivers Rhine and Rhone have formed wide valleys in this region. The two rivers provide an inland waterway and an efficient means of navigation. Most of the central highlands is sparsely populated. The Alpine mountain system contains a chain of rugged mountains lying south of the central highlands. These mountains are young fold, since they were formed when land from opposite sides was gradually compressed due to the Earth's internal movements under its crust. These mountains have high peaks, steep slopes and deep valleys and run parallel to each other in the east-west direction. The mountain systems include the Sierra Nevada in Spain, the Pyrenees between France and Spain and the Apennines in Italy. It also includes the Alps spread across Switzerland, Italy and Austria. The mountains further divide into the Carpathians and the Balkan Mountains. In the southeast region of Europe, the mountain system contains the Dinaric Alps in the Balkan Peninsula and the Pindus Mountains in Greece. The Caucasus Mountains lie between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Mont Blanc, with a height of 4,807 meters, is the highest peak in the Alps. Mount Elbrus lies in the Caucasus Mountains with a height of 5,642 meters. It is the highest mountain peak in Europe. The other important peaks in Europe include Mount Matterhorn and Mount Corno Grand. Mount Matterhorn in the Swiss Alps is 4,478 meters tall. Mount Corno Grand in the Apennines has a height of 2,912 meters. The Alpine system also contains a number of active volcanoes, such as Mount Vesuvius, Mount Etna and Mount Stromboli. Let us take a look at some of the major rivers and water resources in Europe. The river Volga is the longest river in Europe. It originates in the central Russian mountains and flows into the Caspian Sea. The Ural River also flows into the Caspian Sea. However, it has its source in the Ural Mountains. The river Danube, which originates in the Black Forest Mountain in the Alps of Germany, flows into the Black Sea. The river Rhine, which also has its origin in the Alps of Germany, flows into the North Sea. It is the busiest river in Europe 
because of its harbours and waterways. The river Rhone flows into the Mediterranean Sea after originating from the Swiss Alps. This river flows between Central Massif and Jura Mountains. The river Po has its source in the Alps. It flows into the Adriatic Sea after forming a basis between the Alps and the Apennine Mountains. The river Oder flows into the Baltic Sea after originating from Sudeten Range. The river Pechora has its source in the Ural Mountains and flows into the Barents Sea. The rivers originating in the Scandinavian Peninsula mostly have their source in a lake or a cirque. They are short and swift, flowing in nature, making them suitable to harness hydroelectricity. The rivers Neman and Vistula flow through the North European plains. The rivers such as Indel, Ulm and Torn flow into the Gulf of Bothnia near the Scandinavian peninsula. The basin of River Kama lies between the Volga Highlands and the Ural Mountains. Most of European rivers are connected by canals. Canals are used for water transport in Europe. Four of the major canals are the Marne Rhine, Midi, Mitterland, and Kieler canals. The northern part of Europe is known for its lakes. A large number of lakes have been formed due to the intense glaciation during the Ice Age. These lakes include Geneva, Lucerne, and Zurich. Finland is called the land of thousand lakes. Lake Ladoga is the largest freshwater lake in Europe. Ogam, Pipe Sea, Vannon, Vatern, Sweden, Geneva, Constance, Como, and Maggior are some of the other big lakes in Europe. The rivers and canals in Europe provide an efficient system of inland waterways. The water resources are also used for production of hydroelectricity and irrigation. Although the climate in Europe is temperate in general, it is quite varied and in some regions mild. There are a number of factors that influence the varied climate in Europe. The Latitude The major part of Europe lies in the mid-latitude region or the temperate zone. The only exception is the narrow belt in the north along the Arctic Circle which lies in the frigid zone. Proximity to the sea Except for the eastern region, all parts of Europe are close to the sea. The oceans, seas, bays and gulfs have a moderating effect on the climate. Europe is often called the peninsula of peninsulas, since it is mostly surrounded by water bodies. Relief Features Europe has a variety of relief features or landforms such as mountains, valleys, plateaus and plains. The highlands have an east-west alignment which allows for the rain-bearing winds to reach the interiors of the continent. Hence, almost all kinds of climates are present here. Influence of Westerlies most of Europe comes under the influence of the westerlies. These permanent winds blow from the warm areas in the southwest towards the poles. While blowing across the Atlantic Ocean, they pick up moisture and provide heavy rainfall almost throughout the year. Influence of the North Atlantic Drift The North Atlantic Drift is a warm ocean current that flows along the Atlantic Ocean on the west of the continent. It is an extension of the warm Gulf Stream and flows along the coast of northwest Europe, thus raising the temperature of the coastal areas. The warming effect of the North Atlantic Drift 
keeps northwestern Europe free of ice even during the peak winter season. The temperature in West European coastal regions is more than 5 degrees centigrade during winter. Let's look at the features of the varied climate in Europe. The northern part of the continent has a cooler climate than the south. The temperature in this region remains below 10 degrees centigrade even during summer. The temperature variations are greater in the east than in the west. In the central region of plains, the mean temperature is between 20 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade. In the south and southeastern part of the continent, the temperature is more than 30 degrees centigrade. The temperature in the southern part of the Scandinavian peninsula is minus 5 degrees centigrade. The temperature in the southern part of the Iberian peninsula is between 5 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade. Let's look at the features of the annual rainfall in Europe. The rainfall decreases from west to east because as the winds move towards the east, the moisture content is very low. Hence, it becomes a rain shadow region. The rain shadow area lies to the east of the Jolen mountain. The highest rainfall in Europe is received by Crickweiss, with an average annual precipitation of 4,850 millimeters. Astrakhan receives the lowest annual rainfall in Europe with 16 millimeters. The continent of Europe can be divided into five climatic regions based on the temperature and rainfall conditions. They are the tundra or the Arctic region, the taiga or the subarctic region, the continental region, the Mediterranean region, the West European or marine region. The regions experiencing the tundra type of climate lie in the north of the Arctic Circle. The tundra region comprises northern parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. The summers in the tundra region are short and cool, while the winters are long and severely cold. The areas receive scanty rainfall in summer and snowfall during winter. The regions comprising the taiga or the subarctic type of climate lie between 60 degrees north to the Arctic Circle. The taiga region comprises parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. The summers in the taiga region are short. These areas are warmer than the tundra region and receive light rainfall. The coastal areas receive more rain than the interiors. The winters are long and very cold. The regions experiencing the West European or the marine type of climate lie in the western part of Europe. The West European region comprises north of Spain, western France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, the British Isles and Norway. The warm westerlies keep the summers warm and the winters cool in the West European region. These warm winds also provide plenty of rainfall throughout the year. The proximity to the sea causes these regions to experience a mild climate. The annual range of temperature is very small. The regions experiencing the continental type of climate lie in the eastern and central part of Europe. These regions experience extreme climatic conditions since they are far away from the moderating influence of the sea. The annual range of temperature is high. The difference in temperature increases from the west to the east as one goes away from the sea. Summers are short and hot, while winters are long and cold. These regions experience rainfall mainly in summer. The level of rainfall is comparatively scanty since the westerlies become dry when they reach these places. 
The regions experiencing the Mediterranean type of climate lie in the southern part of Europe around the Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean region comprises Greece, Italy, Spain, southern France, Portugal, Bosnia, Albania, and Croatia. In summer, this region comes under the northeast trade winds, which blow from land to sea. Summers are hot and dry, while winters are cool with moderate rainfall. These regions experience winter rainfall. Due to the southward shift of the subtropical high-pressure belt, the southwesterlies bring ample of rain when they blow from the sea to the land. The natural vegetation and wildlife in Europe are closely related to the variety of the climatic types. The continent can be divided into five vegetation belts based on the temperature and rainfall conditions. The tundra vegetation, the taiga or coniferous forests, the mixed forests, the temperate grasslands, and the Mediterranean forests. The tundra region is called the cold desert because most of the area is covered by snow almost throughout the whole year. The vegetation consists of mosses, lichens, and other hardy plants that can survive the cold climate. In the extreme north near the Barents Sea, there are alpine and tundra forests. Moving southwards, we find stunted birch, willow, and beech trees. The taiga region has a vegetation of evergreen coniferous trees consisting of pine, fir, spruce, and larch trees. They provide soft wood for the paper industry. The West European region has a vegetation of mixed forests. Mixed forests consist of deciduous broad-leaved and hardwood trees, together with conifers. The deciduous forests have trees such as beech, oak, elm, ash, maple, chestnut, poplar, pines and birch. These trees shed their leaves in autumn. In the east and southeast areas of Europe, near the Black Sea, there are large stretches of temperate grasslands known as the steppes. This region receives very scanty rainfall, which does not allow the growth of trees. The grasslands are meadows that provide fodder for cattle rearing and are suitable for animal husbandry. Most of these grasslands have now been cleared into farmlands for agricultural purposes. Crops such as wheat, barley, oats and rye are largely grown here. The Mediterranean forests found in southern Europe have evergreen trees which are not dense. These trees grow thick barks, long roots and waxy spongy leaves which help them withstand the long summer drought. Some of the commonly grown trees here are olive, cork, oak, pine and hemlock. A variety of bushes and citrus fruit trees such as oranges, pears, lemons and figs are found here. Now, let's look at the animal and wildlife resources in Europe. The tundra region is inhabited by the arctic fox, musk ox, pine marten, polar bear, reindeer, and sable. The sea animals include seals, walruses, and whales. The taiga region has fur-bearing animals such as the badger, brown bear, fox, lemming, lynx, mink, mountain hare, sable, squirrel, and the wolf. The West European forests have animals such as beavers, deer, rabbits, squirrel, wild bear, and wolves. The fishes found in the seas around Europe include herring, cod, tuna, and sturgeon. The continental regions have a mix of animals such as the antelope, fox, horse, 
hare, wild ass, and wild sheep. The owl, adder, and wild boar are found in the broadleaf forests and meadows. The Mediterranean forests are home to sheep, wild goats, rabbits, squirrels, and wild cats. The tundra type of soil is found in the extreme northern part of East Europe, Iceland and the mountainous regions of Scandinavia. These soils are acidic and the proportion of nutrients required for plant growth is very low. Podzol soils are found in extensive areas to the south of the tundra region. These are developed in the coniferous forest regions and also have large amounts of acid in them. In South and Southeastern Europe, brown soils are developed in the broadleaf forests. They contain sufficient amount of humus and are hence fertile. In East and Southeastern Europe, Chernozem and chestnut type soils are found. Both soils are developed in grassland areas and they are fertile. Solonet soils are found to the north of the Caspian Sea and they have high proportion of salts. In the north, northeastern and southern mountainous parts of Europe, mountainous soils with low thickness is found. Europe has a variety of mineral resources which help in the development of industries. The maximum reserves of oil and natural gas are found in the North Sea. Maximum reserves of iron ore are found in the Jolan Mountains. The reserves of magnesium are located in the southern part of Europe. Industrialization, urbanization and increasing use of vehicles have given rise to the environmental problems in Europe such as air pollution, water pollution and deforestation. Industries and automobiles release harmful gases in the air, giving rise to air pollution and acid rains in the industrial belts of Manchester, Frankfurt, etc. Rivers like the Rhine and Danube and canals are used heavily for transportation, due to chemical effluents from industries and sewage from urban areas. The level of water pollution in rivers and seas is increasing. Vast tracts of forest tracts are getting cleared for agriculture and industry, giving rise to soil erosion, soil degradation and a threat to the existence of wildlife. Europe has several tourist attractions, the most important being the snow-clad Alps, beautiful coasts, churches, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and the Eiffel Tower. The name of the Danube River plain, surrounded by mountains, is the Plain of Hungary. The three large islands from Europe are called the Island of Great Britain, Ireland and Iceland. The distance between the continents of Africa and Europe is the least at the Strait of Gibraltar. 